Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a spring Abercrombie haul to share with y'all and I am so surprised by the cute stuff that I found. I cannot wait to share. I feel like they have come such a long way since their, you know, Moose logo days. If you haven't shopped there since like 2004, they are completely different. And I feel like they are really catering to two different aesthetics as well. They have lots of like Y2K fashion trends, but they also release some really cute girly pieces, which of course is what I'll be sharing and styling for y'all today. If you're interested in shopping any of the pieces, I'll have everything linked in the description box down below. And comment down below letting me know your thoughts on today's outfit. So let's jump in. All right, first is this midi dress and I bought this for our trip to Charleston this month. I just thought this screamed Charleston. It's very comfortable. I plan to wear this kind of comfortably with sneakers as we're exploring and then I'll switch out. These sandals would be cute for like dinner or something like that. And I love the neckline of this. It has a sweetheart neckline. The shoulders and sleeves are very flattering. It's smocked in the back, so it does have a forgiving fit. I am wearing a medium. It's lined, so it's definitely not see-through. It does have pockets, and it's just very comfortable. This is something that I can wear long into the summer as well once it warms up. Next is this cute little floral mini dress, and this is totally giving me Love Shack fancy vibes, but for significantly less, under $100. And I love the print. It's a blue stripe with a floral overlay. And I really like the ruffle detail across the top here. I feel like that makes it look more expensive instead of just having the smocking going across the chest. It's very comfortable. I'm 5'5 for height reference. I paired it here with a wedge to dress it up. But I think this will be another one that I pack along with me to Charleston. And I'll wear it like comfortably with white sneakers for the day as like we're exploring and then I could always switch out my shoes for dinner time. I am wearing a size medium and dresses like this in my opinion are very nursing friendly because you can just pull them down. Um, I'm wearing my go-to strapless bra that I wear in every single video that I will link down below if you are needing a good recommendation. All right, next is this fun pink dress. I got this for the beach. We're heading there next month and I almost got it in white, but I thought this pink would be a fun pop of color for the beach. It is extremely flattering. I will say the top is definitely more low cut than I am used to. And I'm a 36C. I almost feel like I barely fit into the top, but it may be better if you can go without the bra. I just don't have that as an option right now, but it's really flattering. Nonetheless, the straps are also really flattering. I love how the ruffle kind of conceals the armpit area, um, but it's lined, very flowy. This would be perfect if you have like a beach vacation coming up. It would be great for date night too. It's definitely, you know, it's a midi dress, but it still has a very like sexy cut to it. All right, next are these adorable shorts. I was so excited about these and they luckily lived up to my expectations. They're so comfortable. They look like linen on the outside, but they're actually lined. So they're just extremely comfortable and they feel like nice quality because they don't feel flimsy since they have that extra lining. I am wearing a size medium and they're very flattering. I also love the length and fit on my thighs. And then this top, I really did not have high expectations for if I'm being honest. Just wasn't sure how it was going to look and feel, but it is actually surprisingly very comfortable. Again, it's lined like in the sleeves, so it feels like really nice quality. And it's actually very nursing friendly as well. It comes in a pink gingham too, which would be a really cute pairing with like white shorts. I paired it with these fun little pink bow earrings, which kind of tie in with the shorts. And then I styled it with these wedges, but in my original inso, I styled it with the white pearl slides, which I also think would work really nicely too. So when I ordered these pieces, I actually put together some like outfit inspo as to how I was like visualizing how they would all look together. And I am pleasantly surprised that it actually worked how I thought it would. So you just never know, but I really adore this outfit. This is another one I might, I might have to take to Charleston with me. Of course, you can definitely make the shorts more casual. I just paired it with a bodysuit and denim jacket. And then the pink Tory Burch sandals also tie in so well with the shorts. So here's how I would wear it like more casual kind of on the weekend. All right, this outfit is a recreation of one of my all-time favorite outfits on my blog. And I bought these shorts in 2020 on sale. They are a splurge. 
and I really did not get my cost per wear out of them because I got them at the end of season and then I got pregnant so I didn't wear them last year. So I am very excited to style these all throughout the season and get a good cost per wear out of them. They did bring them back in a little bit of a different material around the edge so I will link those if you want to splurge on them but I'll also link some look for less options. The top matches the shorts if you want to buy the set though I will say they're not an exact match. They're two different materials and the coloring is slightly off so this one's a little bit more of a brighter ivory color whereas the other one leans a little bit more of a warm like I creamy ivory I guess so just wanted to give you a heads up there. I am wearing a size medium. I think I need to switch it out for a small. It's just very roomy in the top. So if you're in between, I would say you can size down. I paired this outfit again with the pearl slides. These are going to be so versatile in my wardrobe because they have pretty much worked with every outfit that I've shared so far. All right, next are these like white linen pants. And these honestly feel way more expensive than they are. I love that they are aligned because again, they are extremely comfortable, but it also gives them a really nice weight to it. So they just feel honestly very expensive. And with these pants, you can style them multiple ways. This would be a great thing to pack on like vacation because you could wear them as a swim cover up, but then you can also use them in your wardrobe for like lunch and dinners as well. You could definitely dress these up if you wanted to pair it with a heel. I am wearing a medium. Very comfortable, forgiving fit along the waist. Um, it's not causing any like awkward bulges on my hips or anything, which sometimes pants like this can definitely do that. They're not see-through, but I would still keep it neutral underneath. But because they're lined, they're definitely a little bit thicker than a lot of linen pants in this style. I am a little bummed about the swimsuit. I size up to a large, and for one, it does still look tiny. And I'm honestly not even going to bother trying it on because... There is no padding to it. So with breastfeeding, that is just not an option right now. Um, so this is unfortunately going to go back. It looks like it would be so cute. I love the straps. But again, I just don't think this, this is going to be for me. And then the swim cover up, I was honestly a little disappointed in the quality of it for the price point. I would say if it's on sale, it's really cute. But full price, I just think it's expensive for this thin piece of fabric. And it also, for whatever reason, like has, mine has like all this little pieces of fabric on it. I don't know. It's interesting that it came like that. Let me see if the camera focuses. There you go. Um, I love the print, but I just don't think this was worth the full price that I spent on it. But it's just a little swim bottom cover up. So I'm not necessarily styling these jeans, but I just thought the sweatshirt showed the jeans pretty well. And that's what I was like wearing this morning, but... I have to say I'm pretty surprised by these. If you saw my Abercrombie jean review, I didn't have good luck. So I really did not expect to have luck with their white jeans considering white jeans feel impossible sometimes because a lot of them are too see-through and just not flattering. But I have to say, this is a really, really good option. If you're looking for like a comfortable, stretchy, jegging kind of skinny jean, which for white jeans normally like a thin jegging would be disastrous but these actually are really really flattering on I'm actually wearing granny panties right now and you can't even see them I'm honestly shocked I would still keep it light underneath like black under this would be an absolute no-go but considering you can't even see the lines these pass for white jeans for me they're very comfortable these are the mid-rise I got the high rise but I honestly don't think high rises for me these are sitting about like an inch below my belly button. They're stretchy and comfortable, like easy to move in. I don't feel restricted at all. I'm wearing my normal size 28 in these. This top is adorable. I love the print. It's a light baby blue color, which is one of my favorites for the spring season. They also have some dresses in this print as well. I was going to get a midi dress, but it sold out in my size. But um, I'm wearing a medium, and I do think I'd be better off in the small, just so it has a little bit of a closer, more supportive fit. I'm wearing a strapless bra with it, but I feel like it would be more flattering if it was a little bit tighter so it wasn't gapping as much in the top. Um, it does come down pretty low, so it is like more of a shorter crop top, but it does have some good length to it, so it is easy to tuck in with high-rise options. It would be really cute with like high-rise white jeans, a midi skirt to kind of 
make it more girly. Here I styled it with the low rise 90s straight leg jean. I think these are called. If you haven't seen my Abercrombie jean review, I tried on a bunch of jeans, so I will link that down below and here as well. So if you're on the market for jeans and you're close to my body type, that video should help you out. And then I paired this outfit with the Amazon sandal just to like balance out the jean a little bit. So I love that squirts are making a comeback this year. Definitely a very wearable trend that I am on board with. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the skirt making a return, but this one is a really cute option from Abercrombie. It's tweed print, not see-through, and it also has a matching cropped blazer if you want to do a cute little matching set. So with this, it's a dressier option. So if the Zimmerman shorts are out of your budget, I think this is a similar, like it will give you a very similar look because it's tweed, but it also looks kind of like a linen tweed. They're lined underneath, so they're not see-through. I'm wearing a medium. It's a little roomy, like I could get the waist tailored in, but I like the fit and the hips. I don't think I'd want to switch it out for a smaller size. So here I paired it with the pearl sandals just to dress it down a little bit, but you could easily dress this up as well. If you missed my spring Target haul from earlier this week, I will link it here for you to check out next. So many cute spring outfits styled throughout that video. I also have a recent shoe guide video. And if you're shopping for spring and summer shoes, I shared the five pairs that I think every woman needs in her spring wardrobe here. So if you missed those videos from this week, I know you all will love them. I will see you on Sunday with a new Express Try-On haul. Hope you all are having a good week. Bye.